The crafty folks over at Crafted use images and anchor links to lead visitors to different sections within a single page, even though Weebly doesn't provide an anchor link element. How'd they do that? Anchors for links can be created with some basic HTML using our embed code element. The purpose of these anchors is to provide individual spots on a page to where you can directly link. Drag embed code elements anywhere on the page to which you want to link. In each, write a short piece of code that looks like this. This code simply creates a name for the anchor that you'll use when linking to it. The name we've used here is Sewing, since that's the title of this section and will be easy to remember later. For this other element, we've used the name Paper Crafts, as that fits with the content of this section. You can use whatever names you want. The shorter and more memorable the names, the easier it will be to link to those anchors later. Once the anchors are named, it will then be time to link to them. You can create links in Weebly using text, images, or buttons. Let's use a gallery element and link each thumbnail in the gallery to that anchor. Upload the images you want to use, then add captions to those images. Now open the dialog box and under captions, change it to display on partial or full thumbnail. Since we don't provide the option to link to anchors directly, you'll need to enter the link manually using the website URL option. Enter the address of the page you're working on, followed immediately by a number sign and the name of the anchor to which you're linking. Repeat this for each link and you're all done. And that's how you do that. <laughs>